Hello, and welcome to another episode here on American Guy Does Some British Crosswords While He's Off at Some Conferences and Doesn't Do the New York Times Crossword on Video. That's what the series is called. Uh, yeah, shout out to Telegraph. Thanks for the trial subscription. I think what I'll do next is I'll do the mini and the regular code word, which I did the other day, and I found it to be really fun. I'm, I'm enjoying these code words. I think I might add the code words to my daily rotation. Um, okay, this is error, and this is probably elf. Respond, reply, echo locator. Musical work, a rope is opera. This is fade, so, so it's not reply. This is leap, though. Caution, drinking to the straw. This is so. Radar, react, and error. There we go. It's, uh, again, not following the general American convention of uh, unchecked squares. This S and this R are only in crosses, not in downs, but hey, that doesn't, like, take away from the enjoyability. I guess uh, British crosswords Crossword solvers are way more used to unchecked squares because of the shape of the crossword grids. Um, yeah, I'm just used to the American, the American topology. All right, let's uh, let's try the code words regular, shall we? Uh, wait, this is a this is not today's. Not that today is today, but <laughs> but let's try to do the one that's the day that I'm recording this. All right. So, this is definitely a vowel, as is this. Don't know which one yet. Um, should we look for some other vowels? That's probably a vowel. This is probably something like a K. This seems like it's also a vowel. Maybe a U or something. Mm, this could be a K, actually. It could be like bleaker or something like that. I think I actually kind of like that. Maybe that's, maybe that's being too optimistic. Especially this R E blank blank A. The B and the R were given, right? It's not a Q. It's not a Q either. Not a Q either. <laughs> Where's my Q at? Probably my L is wrong. Can I delete this B? No, I can't delete the B. The B and the R are given. Like what could what could this realistically be? It seems like it's got to be as as I have it set up. It's got to be an A. This could be blinker. No, it couldn't be because <laughs> those two are the same letter. Uh, Okay, this, this, the fact that this, this K need to be a K. Okay, let, let's let's uh, let's let's go back. Hmm, like brick or something. Brink? No. I. I'm concerned that I didn't find a Q anywhere. 
This Q's need to be followed by U's, generally, and there can't be too many of them. It's not this one, though, because things don't end Q-U-R. This could be Q if this is U. No, but this wouldn't end in U-Q, right? This isn't Q either. You know these letter frequencies. This, I guess, has some chance of being Q. 15 is the only one that has any chance of being Q, I think. No, I guess, oh no, it can't be this either because it's followed by 12 and by 22. So this one could be. But then. So I guess it's either 15 or 25. So could this be a U? This could be. Seems unlikely. It seems like there's too many of them. I don't hate this being a U. I guess we could try. And we need to put a Q somewhere. Ooh. But blank blank U. Maybe 25 is the Q then? This is the U. Said I didn't hate it. This has to be a vowel. But it needs to be okay with this. It's not. So, okay, I mean, it's either an E or an O, and O seems better? I'm not sure. Could you have, like, Rigor or whatever? No, not really. Let's try O. I guess I want this to be an E. We're back to me wanting that to be bleaker, frankly. So D or S is what I'm guessing here, I guess. I just have to think about what this letter could be. A C, I guess. Or an N. this be man how come the, the the tough one was easier today maybe I just got lucky on a guess it has to be a vowel also I'm running out of vowels quickly rancor do you spell rancor like this in British English. I guess this is an I. This makes probably this a G. Egret celebration. All right. I think we've now vexillology, study of flags. This is maxilla. Emblaze. Okay. Blender. That's what this was in the end. Disco. In store. No. We already have a T. Uh, Norway lobster, I guess, is what this is. This is a seaport. This is, I guess this is brash. Inshore. Jumping jack. Wow, a lot of J's. A lot of K's. Kofta? Yeah. Alright. It's a... Uh, a hard time breaking through on that one. A lot of K's. See these, uh, John Quill. 
That's hard. Finding these the Q, I think, is kind of a nice way to go. At least sometimes. Q is like so constrained. And Q gives you a U, which gives you a vowel. So, I don't know. This is my second or, I guess, third time. No, uh, maybe fourth time doing code words because I did two yesterday and two today. But this Norway lobster is kind of interesting. As an American, I think, Maine lobster. Anyway, glad you can watch me struggle through that a bit. A lot of K's today. Hope you found that somewhat interesting. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for some more puzzles. Who knows what? See you then.